Hi, this is John Anthony Francis Wilcox. You're in trouble. Oh, no, you're not. But it is um, Saturday, March the 6th, 2021, as this year is already flying by. It is 5.57 p.m. as I am speaking to you. And uh, let's catch up on the week, shall we? Since we last talked... Um, let's see. Monday, I made some a pot of absolutely wonderful sauce, some meatballs and sausages, and some ziti rigatti. And oh, did you hear that little hiccup in my voice in there? That was pretty cool. <clears throat> Who knows when that kind of stuff happens and why? I sure don't. But that was delicious. And of course, I watched, uh, wow, I didn't really watch much of anything on that day. Uh, Tuesday in the morning, I did a wonderful interview with Richard and Wendy Pinney, who uh, do the comic book and soon-to-be audio movie Elf Quest, and um, we had just the loveliest conversation. Um, evidently, they enjoyed it very much as well as they. Uh, let their publicist know who got in touch and said, boy, they really said how much they loved that interview. So that was nice to hear. And then that same day, my brother came by, brought another Beatle lecture video for me to watch, this time on Rubber Soul, one of my favorite Beatle albums. So that was, it was fun to watch, very interesting. And uh, it was also a lovely new episode of NCIS that night, so that was well appreciated. Wednesday, went to the store with my friend Joan. Also, um, on the way back at lunchtime, uh, Joan wanted to go buy uh, a pizzeria in Norwalk called Da Vinci's, which is really good. So I got a Sicilian pie, and uh, that was lunch and dinner. So that was Wednesday did I do on Thursday? I think I even made a note here. Hold on, let's see. Did I make a note? Oh, that's right. There you go. One of the big things for me is I took then all the leftover stuff from Monday and I cobbled together. I had a two pound thing of regat and some eggs and some other stuff and I made a nice big baked ZD. And as a bonus, I had these, I bought some cubed, really sharp provolone because I love that and I, I put some random cubes of it in the ziti so every now and then you get a bonus thingy of it and that was pretty wonderful that big ziti on Thursday uh, Friday uh, watched uh, the conclusion of WandaVision which made me cry like the big baby that I am but it was beautiful I really enjoyed that I put up my six uh, Zappa songs video and uh, I hope some of you have, I know some of you have watched it I hope uh, more do and that was uh, very good um, Friday into Saturday what a strange dream I had last night I had this dream that at one point I was in Toad's place in New Haven but it was now on the Southport edge of Westport and I was in there and I was wearing a cap that the cap itself included blonde dreadlocks and these two brothers named Hoshi and Yoshi were working there and they stole my cap while I was waiting for meatball grinders from them I don't know why, and yet this was Toad's place, and I saw my sister Mary and my great niece Isabella in there, who I would tag at that point. She was probably like maybe 12, so it was a while back. Time has no meaning in dreams, and I was going to have to walk home. And before that, uh, the earlier part of that same dream was about the band Genesis getting ready to tour and in the dream, Tony Banks had done all his keyboard parts already. 
and was just going to sit there and sort of plug them into a computer as they played along to whatever the songs were going to be. We never quite determined that. Uh, and somehow, while they were playing, they were also at my old Greens Farms post office. Uh, I suppose all of that meant something. I have no clue. And Hoshi and Yoshi never did give me back my cap with my blonde dreadlocks. And so today, I transferred the um, Pinny interview from cassette tape, which is where I do all my interviews, onto, uh, I put them onto my laptop and converted them to WMA files. And uh, my friend Suzanne is going to help me with the transcription of that. God bless her. Suzanne is a, a wonderful, wonderful friend and uh, always just a joy and, and helpful and just wonderful. So I thank her for that. I also learned that when I did the tape flip on that interview, unbeknownst to me, my batteries were running out. So the second half of the interview, quickly listening to it now with fresh batteries, keeps speeding up and getting more garbled. So there's not a lot of usable stuff there. I'm going to work on that part of it and see what I can pull from it. But thankfully, on the first half, the first 25 minutes of it are where the real meat is interview-wise. Then we finished up talking about their project. And then we just, since we're all cartoons, we just talked for about a half hour about comics and people we know within the business and stories we found amusing to tell each other. And I think that kind of brings you up to date. Doing okay getting by I think I'm in a better frame of mind than I was a week ago oh in fact I know I I'm in a much better frame of mind so that's nice I hope you're all doing well I love you please be in touch let me know what you're doing let me know what you think I don't hear enough from people so please do that and I will see you soon bye bye <laughs>